fucking head. Okay, I got it. Yeah, you know, I love Law Abiding Citizen because first of all, I got a chance to work with Jamie, which I always wanted to do. You know, obviously he's extremely talented with music and comedy and sports. I mean, he's like a quadruple threat. And uh, Jamie called me up one day and said, I have a project that we should work on. I read the script, loved the idea, and uh, that's how that happened. Gerard Butler from 300, of course, Sparta, that dude. <laughs> he's off the chain, I, I loved it. And um, that's one of my favorite movies because I, you know, I got a chance to kind of throw my hat into the psychological thriller genre, and um, it was fun. You know, Gerard Butler's character, Clyde Shelton, is uh, he's off the chain. And um, I just had fun with just some dark material, because, you know, I kind of mixed it up a little bit. You know, I had the Italian job, which was light and fun, and uh, Friday, which was light and fun. Law Abiding Citizen is, is definitely something different for me, so I had a lot of fun with it. Who inspired me to become a filmmaker? That's really funny because it wasn't there wasn't a lot of filmmakers that inspired me. You know, when I was younger, there weren't a lot of black filmmakers at all. I mean, there weren't any actually that I knew of. Um, Spielberg was, you know, one guy that I can kind of look at because he was the only one around when I was a teenager. Um, and then came Spike, you know, uh, but. Um, in a strange way, Muhammad Ali inspired me to be a filmmaker. You know, because when you look at his history and you look at what he did, which was, you know, in some instances kind of impossible. And, you know, if you look at what he did at that time in the context of those times, he was really brave and he stepped up and did things that most people um, would consider impossible. So I would look, I would actually study Muhammad Ali and get inspiration from his kind of just his drive to kind of do the impossible hey i know you don't smoke weed i know this but i'm gonna get you high today because it's friday you ain't got no job and you ain't got shit to do part of the reason why um i think we had such a good time making friday and and, and how friday came about was because q you know, knew that I knew Los Angeles really well. And you know, especially the, the you know, the inner city and, and South Central. And he, he always would work with directors that technically knew what they were doing, but they didn't understand the culture. And so, you know, it started with uh, True to the Game, the video I did for him, and then today was a good day. And he realized, I mean, he, he, knew, he knew even before then, but he realized, hey, listen, this guy knows what he's doing technically. And he also knows you know, the hood and, and, and kind of just, you know, all the nuances that, that, that is the inner city here on the West Coast. And um, that's that, that's how Friday came about. Hey, listen, if I get $500 million to do my avatar, it's gonna, it, it, eventually it's going to happen, definitely. Um, but I take projects on just sheerly, it's really just about passion. You know, my next movie may be a small comedy. You know, it's just really... It's like music. You just never know how you feel. And um, I have like five projects that I'm developing, all different genres, different sizes, different scopes. And, um, you know, it's, it's just, it really just depends on how, you know, how I'm feeling, man. I'm fortunate enough to be able to take risks and people trust me enough to, to, to do different things. You know, they don't pigeonhole me and say, well, he can only do Friday like, you know, comedies or, a negotiator or, 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 or action films, and so you know, while people still trust me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of it. I haven't seen the census. I don't get mail where I live. <laughs> I don't get mail where I live, so I'm, 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 I'm glad I didn't see it. You know, I don't get caught up in the, the, the black, white, yellow, or brown things. I think we got other important things to just focus on, honestly. And I think. Uh, while people are focused on race, man, we need to be focused on spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not to, to, to be too kind of esoteric, or, you know, about things. I, I think, you know, people should be really working on getting they, their souls right. Because there's so many things going on right now that, that 
we're so distracted by like things that are meaningless. Like I can't change my color, nor, nor would I ever want to. So I'm not gonna even get into that argument because there's things that I can change, and that's one of my focus.